I'm very pleased to have back in our studios today our good friends from the Pennsylvania State Police at Troop N, Trooper David Peters, a public information officer, and Trooper Anthony Petrosky, also a public information officer. Thank you, gentlemen, for both being here. You're here to talk about two great programs run by the State Police, Camp Sunny Day and Camp Cadet. I'm going to start with you first, uh, Trooper okay. Peters, about Camp Cadet. This has been going on for literally more than three decades. Absolutely. Uh, Troop N, I mean, Camp Cadet itself with the Pennsylvania State Police started around 1970. Uh, ours, obviously, Troop N established theirs um, a little bit after that, but it's been going on for 30 years now. It's a uh, youth program that's sponsored by the State Police, as well as a Camp Cadet board, which is made up of civilians, um, to assist with the raising of funds to pay for this camp. Um, it, ages 12 to 14, uh, male and female can join from the counties of Monroe, Columbia, Carbon, and Lower Luzerne counties. Uh, it's a week-long program. They stay there. Um, they have no technology with them. Um, and they, they kind of learn a, a lot about law enforcement and state police training in, in, in more of a, uh, an education-based atmosphere. Now, this is taking place this summer, July 15th through the 20th, but you're already taking registration. Yes, uh, right around the first of the year, we opened the application period. Um, someone could pick up an application or a brochure at their local school in, our, in those four counties that I named, as well as the state police stations in, the, in those four counties. They can also get it online at the Pennsylvania State Police website. They type in uh, Troop, excuse me, click on Troop N, and then scroll down to Camp Cadet to be able to find the application there. And they can also print it off of the Troop N Camp Cadet Facebook page. All they need to do is fill it out mail it back, they'll be registered, and then they have to go through uh, selection and interview process. All right, that's a wonderful program. We've covered many events for years, and really one of the best things in this area. And then just the recent addition of Camp Sunny Day, this is the second year, but that went off very well last year, so you're bringing it back. So tell us what Camp Sunny Day is all about. So Sunny Day Camp is a one-day camp for individuals with special needs and disabilities. It's for ages eight and up, and we don't have a cutoff age. Last year was our first year running this camp, and it was a huge success. We're hoping to make an even bigger success this year. It's going to be held at Pocono Raceway on May 12th, Saturday, May 12th, with a rain date of Saturday, May 17th. Um, it, it's a huge, huge program for us at Troop N. Um, it's becoming a statewide program in the state police, and it's, it's, it's very humbling. It's a lot of fun. What was your reaction when the children came last year for the first time? They couldn't stop smiling. Um, to be able to have all of these assets that police, not only the state police, but other police agencies have to offer and to have that at their fingertips for them to take pictures and, you know, see them with their families and just try some equipment on. They didn't stop smiling the entire day. It was, it was a lot of fun. Do you think you also inspired these children to believe they can do anything and maybe they'll be a member of the state police in the future? Absolutely. Um, you know, the, the sky's the limit for these individuals. They're always happy. They're, they're always smiling, you know, and, and that rubbed off onto us. That's a good thing. Huh? Absolutely that's it is, yeah. Thing. We can all take a smile from anybody, so that's a really great thing. Congratulations on the success with that, because Trooper Peter said you put a lot of hard work and time into it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we both did. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of us to run this camp, um, and, and everybody is willing to do it, because the cause is absolutely worth it. So they can get the applications the same way that he just said? Um, they could go right onto the uh, Troop N Camp Cadet Facebook page, or sunnydaycamp.org, and click on Troop N, and it'll bring up registration. Is there a deadline? Uh, registration, the deadline is April 6th. April 6th. <laughs> okay. yeah, deadline's April 6th for that registration. All right, very good. And we failed to mention that Camp Cadet, once again, held at Penn State uh, Hazleton campus. That's a great atmosphere. You have the pool, you have everything there, a lot of great facilities. You bring in a lot of really interesting programs for these kids. Absolutely. They, uh, pretty much a lot of the things that you see at Sunny Day those individuals at uh, Camp Cadet will see over a week-long period. Mm -hmm. I mean, they'll have an opportunity to interact with the horses or, or SWAT teams. There's also some information that they need to learn about internet safety and, and, and drugs and, and gangs, which have become an, an unfortunate part of our society. Um, so, I mean, the time is now to register. They have until March 31st to, to uh, get their application into us here at the uh, State Police Barracks. All right, two great programs run by the Pennsylvania State Police and these two gentlemen. So please get your applications in for your kids because you certainly won't be disappointed.